Hi there, this is question 6 from Core 4, June 2012, the Edexcel specification. This particular question is parametric equations, and we're going to have a look through how we go about it. So the first thing is that you are going to need to find dy by dx for question 1. And we're given two parametric equations, x and y in terms of t, for this particular curve. And in order to find dy by dx, we're going to need to find dy by dt, and then divide that by dx by dt. So first of all, if I find dx by dt, using the chain rule, I'm going to differentiate uh, the first expression for x. So if I use what's inside the function, which is 2t, if I differentiate that, I get 2 times up by the root 3. And then if I differentiate sine, I get cos. So that's applying the chain rule. For dy by dt, do the chain rule again. So bring the power down, times it by the 4. And then if I differentiate the cos t, which is inside the function, end up with minus sine t. So dy by dx will be minus 8 cos t sine t all over 2 root 3 cos 2t. In order to get an expression that has a 2t in it, we're going to need to use our trig identities on the numerator. So if we use the trig identity for sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a, we can see that we can change dy by dx into minus 4 sine 2t that's all over 2 root 3 cos 2t a bit of cancelling and using our trig identity that sine over cos is tan we end up with minus 2 tan 2t that's divided by root 3 now don't forget this also asks you to find out k so to do this we've got the fact that k times root 3 has got to be equal to minus 2 over root 3 so if I divide by root 3 you can see that k is minus 2 over 3 for part b we need to find the tangent, the equation of the tangent. So we're going to need the gradient, which is dy by dx. And we're going to have to substitute in our value for t that they give us in the question, which is uh, pi over 3. So we have two lots of t, so that's 2 pi over 3. If we uh, work out tan 2 pi over 3, you'll see that you get a gradient of 2. Because tan 2 pi over 3 is minus root 3. We're now going to have to find an x-coordinate using our first expression and a y-coordinate using our second expression from the question. So we're going to substitute t into these so 2 pi over 3 and for this one the same thing of pi over 3 uh, if we start over here with the x so we're going to have um, probably worth just remembering your sine curves at this point uh, you can plug it into your calculator but it's nice to develop these skills that if we're looking at sine of uh, 2 pi over 3, so that would be 120, which is about there, that's the same as 60. And sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. So we'll end up with root 3 times root 3 over 2 
over two days. Uh, so we end up with three over two for that one. And for this one, cos of pi over three is a half, and we're squaring it. So you end up with y is one. So if you put that into an equation of a straight line, y minus the y coordinate is equal to the gradient times x minus the x coordinate. And that will end up with y equals 2x minus 2 as the equation of our tangent. Okay, in the final part, we're three marks. It says find the Cartesian equation of C. It's not a straightforward one, but what we have to do for part C is rewrite our equations, our Cartesian um, parametric equations, sorry. So we've got those to refer to. So what we need to do is somehow find a way to express it our equation in just in terms of x's and y's. Quite often the way to start with these is to try squaring one of the expressions. And we're going to do that with this one. So we end up with that. But before I do that, what I'm actually going to do is change that expression there using my trig identities to sine t cos t and if you remember that's also times by 2 so it's the same trig identity we used before so we end up with that when we square it might just be worth recapping that one for you just so we're nice and clear um, so if I rewrite this one as 2 sine t cos t using the trig identities that you will know from c3 and then I square it end up with 3 times 2 which is my apologies so end up with squaring 3 squaring root 3 <laughs> squaring 2 squaring sine and squaring cos and x squared is going to be 12 sine squared t cos squared t. Now you'll notice that we can actually replace a cos squared t with the expression in terms of y, because if I rearrange this equation, I end up with cos squared t is y over 4. Now I can also replace sine squared t with 1 minus cos squared t. And that means that I can rewrite my equation just in terms of x's and y's. And there you have the Cartesian equation of that curve. I hope that does make sense and sorry for a few errors as we went.